Notion has been taking over my life. I've been spending more time on it than my actual projects and getting nothing done. At least I was until I implemented a few techniques that are guaranteed to stop you from doom scrolling your workspace. But before we share those, we need to unpack exactly why it's so easy to waste time on the best productivity app out there. And to do that, we need to go all the way back to January 2019. Okay, so a vision board I created as a New Year's resolution was always doomed to failure. Looking back, it's shocking just how few of these new habits I actually stuck to compared to the effort that went into building the workspace. I'd love to tell you that I saved 5,000 pounds by consulting my pre-purchase checklist, adopted a zero waste existence, and lost 10 kilograms by June of this year. But for the most part, I just had a pretty looking Notion page that fooled me into thinking I was taking action. And this is the problem with Notion. Its user experience is set up to make it easy and fun to design beautiful workspaces. But the vast majority of us aren't UX experts. So we create pages that don't actually make it easy to get things done. Instead, we spend hours tinkering with our Notion board and sometimes even just staring at it in the pretense that we're actually crushing it. One of the most distracting areas in Notion is the board view. They give you a great overview of your project, but this is prime territory for optimization. So once it's set up, I try to spend as little time there as possible. I only add icons to pages that I really want to work on so that the eye is drawn to them when I open up the board. But you can bypass the board view entirely by using widgets, shortcuts, or bookmarks to go straight into a recent page from your home screen. On the page itself, use prompts and questions to make it feel more like a conversation. You want to make it feel like you're responding to a brief, even if you're working on your own. A good example of this is the get to by format that I use to define the purpose of every video before I even begin. For example, my goal in this video was to get people who procrastinate on Notion to unlock their productivity by highlighting issues and providing solutions. By the way, if you think I've done a good job of that in this video, then why not hit the like button? It helps the video spread to even more people who might find it useful. And speaking of buttons, it's time to dial down all those fancy blocks you've been using. My two favorites are the classic checklist that helps you track progress of your work and the toggle list that helps you make progress by hiding work you've already done, which you could otherwise end up admiring or fretting over instead of the task at hand. Look, Notion is a powerful tool, but it also has a learning curve and it's almost too fun. As long as you use it in an intentional way, there's no stopping you. Just don't get distracted by this next video.